Hello students, myself Sagar Choksi from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So, in previous session, we have started concept of wages, concept of wage incentive and the difference between wage and wage incentive. Okay, so in today's session, we are going to discuss about different types of wage incentive plan. So, in today's session, we are going to discuss about Taylor's differential piece rate system number two that is Merrick's differential piece rate system okay so let's start the lecture lecture number 21 that related to wage incentive plan so now the question is first of all what do you understand by incentive okay so incentive is nothing but some extra bonus that given by the worker for workers efficiency okay so here i have attached one definition so that you can directly understand the concept of incentive okay so here incentive is nothing but a reward which is given for workers hard work and their efficiency so now the question is types okay so there are mainly two types of incentives are available first one that is financial incentive number two that is non-financial incentive okay it is very important financial and non-financial incentive third one it, it is very important to uh, to know about goal okay so now what is the goal of incentive so to increase accuracy of the product to increase the standard of your product and also increase the productivity also increase the profit okay so the goal is clear to increase the standard to increase the standard of the product okay so now the question is objective so the objective is very important to increase motivation of the worker to work hard and better okay so these are very important this is basic of incentive and it is very important there are mainly two types of incentive financial and non-financial to increase the productivity to increase the profit okay and objective is to increase the motivation level so this is what incentive okay some extra reward which is given by the worker for their efficiency and there are mainly two types of incentive financial and non-financial that increase the productivity that increase the profit and that also increase the standard of your product the objective is clear objective is to increase the motivation of the worker to work better and better so this is what incentive okay okay so move forward to next one that is wage incentive plan so here i have attached four different types of wage incentive plan first and important plan that is taylor's differential piece rate system number two that is merrick's differential piece rate system third one that is rowan's plan and fourth one that is also incentive plan these are the basics of wage incentive plan okay there are four different kinds of four different types of wage incentive plan okay we will see the difference between taylor's piece rate and Merrick's dif differential piece rate system in next slide but it is very important wage incentive plan that related to some extra bonus given by the worker that related to worker efficiency okay so let's start Taylor's differential piece rate system first of all what is the objective of Taylor's differential piece rate system so here this system provide two piece rates okay this system provide two different parts okay first part that is the two that is the worker who produce more than the standard unit are paid at higher piece rate now the question is what is standard unit and what is actual unit okay so let's take one example standard unit that related to standard time okay standard unit is equal to 12 and workers unit worker production unit that is 14 so in this case worker get some extra bonus 
so this is called an incentive plan or this is called incentives okay so here in taylor's differential piece rate system the worker who produce more than standard unit are paid at higher piece rate okay number 2 second part that is the worker who produce less than the standard output are paid at low piece rate okay so there are two kinds of uh, there are two types of piece rate system here okay so now the question is what are the objectives of taylor's differential piece rate system so this system reward efficient worker and penalize slow worker okay so that you can increase your productivity okay so this are the objectives of taylor's differential piece rate system this system reward efficient worker and penalize the slow worker fifth one that is a worker should get enough incentive for the contribution so these are the objectives these are the goals of taylor's differential piece rate system in this particular system there are two different parts first part that is a worker who produce more than the standard unit are paid at higher piece rate and on the another hand the worker who produce less than the standard unit are paid at lower low piece rate so these are the objectives these are the goals of taylor's differential piece rate system in this particular system there are two different parts first part that is a worker who produce more than the standard unit are paid at higher piece rate and on the another hand the worker who produce less than the standard unit are paid at lower low piece rate so these are the taylor's differential piece rate system so move forward to next one that is merrick's differential piece rate system so here i have attached one table so that you can directly understand the concept of merrick's differential piece rate system so i have add three different col column here okay level number 1 level number 2 level number 3 first column that related to level number 2 that related to percentage of standard output number 3 that related to wages paid so level number 1 that related to up to 83% of standard output up to 83% of standard output so in this case basic rate per piece are given to the worker okay so in level number 2 83% 200% to of standard output 1.1 times basic rate per piece is given to worker okay in level number 3 over 100% okay over 100% for skill worker okay so over 100% 1.2 times basic rate per piece is given to the worker so this is what merrick's differential piece rate system okay so worker are punished for the their slow rate of production in taylor's plan on the another hand in merrick's differential piece rate system it remove this kind of limitation by cancelling the penalty for lower rate of production so this is what merrick's differential piece rate system up to 83% up to 83% basic rate per piece is given number 2 that is 83% to 100% 1.1 times basic rate per piece is to be given okay and level number 3 that is over 100% 1.2 times basic rate per piece is to be given okay so this is what merrick's differential piece rate system so thank you thank you so much in this session we have completed taylor's differential piece rate system and merrick's differential piece rate system so in next session we will uh, discuss about rowan's plan and also incentive plan so thank you thank you so much